Hello, everybody. Hello there. Special edition today. Uh, if you watched our last one, you saw that this is our anniversary. We've been here one year. So I know that uh, when you started watching us, we were all pie in the sky and uh, it was a honeymoon. Uh, in fact, I did carry her over the threshold when we <laughs> moved did. in. Yes, you I did. You did. <laughs> and uh, we were all positive and everything was like gooby goo. And some of you wrote in saying this was making you sick to your stomach. We were so happy and all that. But uh, we're going to do the opposite today. After a year, this special segment is only about things that we don't like after we've been here a year. And we're not going to explain them in too great a depth and try to justify them and tell you how we got past it and all that kind of thing. Just going to let you know, it's not all roses. You already know that. And you folks that uh, like to, to criticize so heavily in the comment section, uh, we don't hate the villages, okay? This is just for information. We're just telling people some things that are less than ideal at times here. All right, you want to start us off? Yeah. Okay. Um, first off, um, when we chose to move here, we were so excited. We were giddy. We were having a great time planning, and we were just uh, really having a wonderful time. Uh, the dislike about moving is that we're going to hurt someone's feelings, and we did. We hurt our family's feelings, and it has been a problem for me for a long time because I have been really bothered by the feelings that I got from my family and your family too and it was uh, no help at all to move and we we relied on a lot of friends and that we had wonderful friends so that was really good but family support was not there but we broke their hearts I guess but that was hard and we really still haven't got over that um let's see okay I'll take one yeah here you probably heard about the publicized Sumter County tax hike Evidently, the taxes hadn't been raised in a dozen years or so. And by the way, all my information is just coming out of my head. You know, I'm not uh, guaranteeing any of it. I may get my years off or numbers off a little bit, just just for the overall impression. A long time, taxes hadn't been raised. And they got together and they raised the taxes in Sumter County. And nobody liked that, especially people like us that just bought a new home. And it was newly evaluated and assessed. And, um, you know, we got it stuck to us pretty good mm -hmm. with that tax yeah. increase. Yeah. And, you know, we could have a whole show on that and talk about why it might be justified or whatever. But that is a negative. It's costing you more money than you'd anticipated. See, when you move in, when you come here, not when you move in, but when you close the deal or you're shopping for the home, you'll get a sheet. It'll tell you what they expect you to pay for, for real estate tax for electricity, for water, for sewer, etc. Those numbers were a little low uh, that we got at, cl at uh, the time that we bought the home. We found them to be a little bit higher. Too high? You saw the last video on expenses. That's for you to decide. But that tax hike was definitely a negative. Um, another little negative is it's a little crowded during the December, May period or time when the uh, seasonal people come back to their their wonderful homes. And I know we're, we love being with them and we have a lot of friends that ha are seasonal too. But the restaurants are a little bit more crowded. The um, traffic, the roundabouts, you have to take more time and be more careful. Um, golf tee times are hard to get a little bit harder anyway. So, but we have to deal with that. Right. And this is called snowbird season. And, and these snowbirds, you know, that's a good life. They've yeah. kept their old homes. Right. They go there in the summer when it's hotter here, they'll go there for the cooler and come back here. So there's nothing negative about the snowbirds. They have every right yeah. to be here like we do. It's just that it does make it a little bit more crowded, but, uh, we also have to remember they're paying their amenity fees the six months or five months or eight months that they're not here. So, right. uh, you know, they're definitely doing their part. And we're not meaning this to be derogatory in any way toward them. But you mentioned the golf tee times are harder to get. Now, that's true. And I'll talk about this when we do uh, uh, things we like about the villages, too, because a lot of these things are going to overlap. We can tell you why they're negative, but we can also tell you why they're positive. The snowbirds are back. Tea times are harder to get. Uh, prices increase at everything in the villages. We got in the habit of going to a couple of restaurants that had a special on Mondays, $5 hamburgers. Oh, yeah. Nice hamburgers. 
Hey, but when good. those snowbirds start coming back, they throw that special out the window because they know they don't have to offer you specials. They're going to fill that restaurant up. But with golf, uh, I've, I've got the printout from the villages here. Uh, I'm just going to basically uh, give you the, the uh, main idea is that between January 1st and April 30th of 2020, here's what the green fees will be if you want to play championship. Now, I generally don't. I mean, I play it maybe once a week late in the day when they do have a discount uh, during the summer and the fall. But now I don't see that discount on this list. Uh, it says that if you play a championship course, there are eight. Um, that would be Palmer Legends, Cane Garden, Mallory Hill, Havana, Bonifay, Evans Prairie, Belle Glade, and Tierra del Sol. A regular person like me, a regular homeowner here, will pay $64 per round. If you were a priority member, you'd only pay $47 a round. And remember, that's uh, an extra fee that gives you a, a trail pass and uh, some benefits for uh, discounted prices and uh, special access to tea times. But $64 at those, uh, for a, it's a little strong for my blood. I play the free executives most of the time. Now, there are a little, a few cheaper options. Uh, Hacienda Hills, Glenview, and Lopez. You know, you can play there as a regular member for 58 Or you can go to Orange Blossom Hills and uh, play that from April, or from January to April for uh, $50 a round. That's a little high. That's why I stick to the uh, executive golf. I know we all saw the videos that the villages put out before we move here. Uh, and it shows the villages in all their glory, and it touts the free golf for life. And that's what the executives are good for. And the only thing it costs you there is a trail fee or, or a daily pass for the golf cart. Um, another negative is learning a lot of rules and strict regulations. Um, first, you have to learn your way around, and that's kind of tricky because a lot of the houses look a little like um, trying to find different neighborhoods. You have to get out your maps and your Garmin and your Google to find things. So that's a little tricky uh, for me anyway, because I'm pretty much uh, challenged when it comes to driving and finding my way around. <laughs> well, I think anytime you go to a new city, you're going to have trouble. But this is uh, very learnable and very doable. And once you learn it, uh, the, ro the main roads are pretty basic. Um, I don't think anybody knows all of the uh, roads within the subdivisions here, but no. not not bad. No. Um, um, also, there are a lot of strict rules on your house. You have to have certain colors. You can't just paint any color of house you want. There's a, there's guidelines, and you have to uh, work on your your yard and keep it nice all the time because you don't want your grass to be uh, higher than someone else's and you have to make sure you're not putting crazy things in your yard it has to be kind of approved and, and yeah you know the reason that we're mentioning this on the negatives video because believe me that has its positives as well i want a kayak I, I, or a canoe i want to get out there and uh you know yeah. Not swim with dolphins, but kayak with gators, you know. Uh, and, I don't want to do that. Uh, but I do I do fish, and I do like to get out there. But there's no place with, with our limited storage yeah. uh, to put a kayak or a canoe. And you can't tilt it up against the back of your house. In Indiana, we'd had no problem. No problem. You know, we could stack lumber out there. We could put a boat out there. We could, yeah, we, we could do anything. But here... Uh, you have to be respectful to right. the, to and the I'd like to have some, sorry to interrupt, but I'd like to have some wind chimes. I loved my wind chimes back home. They were amazing and they're just tranquil. But you're so close to neighbors here and it may be offensive to someone. So that's kind of a, a drawback for me. Our neighbors are good and they told us, go ahead, put your wind chimes out. We don't care. But, I mean, do we really want them playing their bongo drums? You know, if we put our wind chimes out, you know. So, you know, you just have to be respectful. But that is definitely, it takes some getting used to the restrictions, uh, which we know are here for a reason. But still, you know, if you're from the country like us, you may get here and think, what did I do? You know, because <laughs> our property line on this side, it's five feet from the house. Mm -hmm. On this side over here, it may be a little further. And in the back, it might be 10 or 15 feet but that's not much. It's a postage stamp. We live on a postage stamp. We do. But it's good. I mean, the the yard care and upkeep is easier. Well, speaking of postage stamp, that could be my next one. Lead it in. <laughs> um, there's a lack of um, 
places to mail your letters. You can go to your neighborhood postal station, which is very close, but when you mail something there, a letter, uh, I don't think you can mail boxes there, but you can mail letters and cards. Uh, it takes a little bit more time to get to you, the, the person you want to mail it to. It takes, uh, they must have to go to another station, to another station. So it could be five to seven days if your birthday card's going to be there late. And mine have been late. So sorry, people. I've been late. Um, you, I guess we could go to the um, UPS store. And that's quite a few. Um, we could drive a golf cart to it. I yeah. mean, yeah, it's a 20-minute golf cart ride. Yeah, but our neighborhood postal station is just you know three two minutes away <laughs> right okay go ahead. all right um when you live here you get to know the people you know and that's a good thing um we lost a neighborhood member last week we lost two two people passed away and you know that's something when you get close with your neighbors like we have in this short time and uh, some of them are elderly you know you start losing them and that's definitely a negative there's a rumor mill that goes around the villages. I mean, rumors are rampant here. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of funny sometimes. Um, watch out for that coyote. There's a coyote in Dunedin. Our homes are situated on the edge of Lake Deaton, and there's a big preserve yeah. back there mm -hmm. where animals have lived for a thousand years. <laughs> A long time. Yeah. And once in a while, somebody will see a coyote. They're scared. Yeah. They're scared to death of those coyotes. They're scared of these eagles that fly over, which are awesome. This is the eagle lady right uh -huh. here. I've been spotting them like crazy. She sees <laughs> eagles every day. Yeah, I do. I don't see them all that often, but uh, I'm probably not looking up in the air like she is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a rumor mill. You know, uh, they want to talk about the, the hospitals here. People talk about the negative impressions or the negative impressions of a doctor or the dentist. You know, there's a lot of negativity, but people like to complain. Very seldom do they, you know, write articles about how pleased they are. They right. want to complain about how yeah. negative they are. So, yeah. so there is a rumor mill here. Tremendous growth is another thing that I want to talk about. I can't complain about it. It's an, it, it may be a negative, um, but the villages is growing. They have bought enough land that's now vacant south of here to double the size of the villages or pretty, you know, to increase it anyway. I'm not being official with that double the yeah. size of the villages, but I mean, uh, substantial. It's going to get bigger and bigger. And are they going to build enough championship golf courses to satisfy those new people that buy homes there? Are there going to be enough recreation centers? Will there be enough shopping? Right. You know, all those things, enough restaurants. Yeah. So the growth is the growth out of control. That's a worry. I mean, we don't sit around and worry about it because if they had stopped building 10 years ago, guess what? We'd be shoveling snow up in Indiana right now. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the progress is not bad, but we want to make sure, we hope that they make sure that they do it the right way. Mm -hmm. So is it getting too big? Could be a, a negative. Um, another thing I like to talk about is shopping because I love to shop. And um, it's 45 minutes to an hour to go to a mall or an outlet mall. You'll either have to go to Orlando or Ocala if you want to go to a substantial mall. And I'm still a mall girl. I love malls. Um, just like that variety. Um, but we, there are stores here, but I, I like to do that, especially the outlet malls. Um, also, the grocery stores. Um, the big chain here is a little bit pricey, and that bothers me because I don't get the variety at my little local store that I'm shopping at now. So that's kind of a that's a downer for me. Well, we want to keep her happy with the shopping. <laughs> yes. But the thing you all want to know about, and we get more letters about than anything else, can you guess what it is? Is it too hot? Oh, that's... Is sorry. it too hot here in the villages? We're in central Florida. So we probably don't get the ocean breeze like they get in Daytona or the Gulf over there by Tampa. So we've been through the whole year. And let me tell you, it is hot it's in hot. the summertime. <laughs> it's hot here. Yeah. But I like the summer here. Yeah. Because it's easier to get tea times. You know, the evenings are beautiful. You get lovely rain showers, but it's hot. You know, the days from the mornings, even starting at 1030 or 11, the humidity and the heat, and that'll be here until 4 or 5 p.m. Yeah. 
And then it'll cool down a little bit, but you still got some of that humidity. Mm -hmm. You know, we sit outside at night and it's lovely and we love it. But, uh, but it is hot in the summer. Is it too hot? When we came down for our lifestyle visit, it was October 16 through 20, mm -hmm. uh, a year and two months ago or three months ago. And in October, I remember playing golf on that lifestyle visit and thinking, wow, <laughs> I am hot. Yeah. It was. But now, uh, you know, and we had a bad summer. They said this was a very hot summer this past summer. But now we're not affected so much by it. You know, we've learned to stay in during the, the uh, hottest hours. part of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, which we would do in Indiana if it was 10 degrees or 15 or 20. We'd stay right. we in, the, in the house. <laughs> but it, it does get warm in the evenings. But let me tell you, the, and I hate to speak about anything positive in this video because we're trying to be very, very negative. Right. The sunsets in the summer are crazy good. Yeah, I mean, the, the skies, the clouds, the sunsets, they're all beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, that's hurricane season, which we had to bug out one time. So that's another negative. That's a negative we you know, bring up. Uh, we're in the middle of the state, which we are much safer than you'd be on the coast if right. a hurricane hit. Mm -hmm. And I think we've said before that even the people on the coast tend to flock here where they can drive in an hour and be safer than they are where they were before. But, right. but the... Violent weather is a possibility down here, you know, and, and again, not to defend it because I don't want to play for both teams on this video, but in Indiana, you've got tornadoes. We've had some devastating tornadoes yes. where we lived up there, Yes, you know, so there are no perfectly safe places no. on earth, I don't think. But, no. but anyway, uh, anything else from you? I think that's it. Okay. So this was our negative video. Uh, we wanted to give you some of the things that we didn't like. We tried to remember them all. We made lists and, uh, did the best we can. If you have questions, you can send them to our email address, villagesnewcomers at gmail.com. We try to answer them all. We get a lot of emails. I try my best to answer them. And uh, uh, we're sure happy that you do uh, watch our videos and then you do subscribe. And if you hit that little bell on the thing, it'll on the uh, screen, it will tell you every time we put a new video out. So thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you when you get here.